Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Gen AI Vlog. So I'm very excited to share this episode with you guys. Today I got the Llama API access from Facebook, or also known as Meta. So once again, this is a Meta Llama API trial case. I'm very excited to share this episode with you guys. We're gonna start with our email. So this is very exciting. Uh, out of the box is pretty much like the user interface of OpenAI and some of the major large language models out there. Uh, here we have the API docs. Of course, we have chat completion. Now we're gonna go there in just a sec. Uh, this is the API, uh, so that's how you invoke it. Uh, you have a API key, you know, model, message, things like that. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're gonna go to Python. I think this is how you invoke it. Great. Uh, let's test out on OpenAI. So this is very interesting. So you also have OpenAI interface, uh, which definitely I'm going to try out. Uh, and then obviously, uh, important thing here is API key. It's probably the number one step that we have to do. It's API key. Let's register that. And then uh, let's come back to our documentation. And let's register as Llama API key. So to make the process easier, I'm going to go to a collab. So here's my collab. Uh, first things first is I'm going to try the OpenAI one. Uh, so we're going to do pip install OpenAI. So now all I got to do is copy the user secret or user data, and we're going to grab the name, something like that. Then this should be able to load the API key for me that I just saved in there. Say grant access, awesome. So this gives me API key, and then after that, we can then hit the API call. So uh, we're going to go to OpenAI. That's the third version. We're just going to copy that. And we're going to see if this works. Uh, so if this works correctly, we should be able to get this API key from environment, uh, which is defined here. Great. Let's see if we can make this API call with a Llama 4 Maverick model. So we're going to hit the API call, see what it gives us. API key must be set either by passing API key or... OK, so I think... OpenAI also requires the API key. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically grab this, and I'm going to paste it here to see if this way it works. Great, that worked. We got an ID. Uh, this is uh, after chat completion. So that's the class object of this response. And what I'm going to do is trying to get things out of it, right? So we have uh, log props, message. Uh, this chat completion message is, I believe, what we want. So uh, let's physically grab that out. We can say message. ID choices. Now, I believe we're in choices first. Uh, so we're going to hit choices. Wait, uh, this looks like a list. So we're going to say bracket zero. Uh, we're going to enter into the first item of the list. And then uh, I'm going to go grab message, which is what I want to display message. Uh, this should give me this chat completion message, which then I have a grab content. Uh, this will be able to give me exactly that message, right? Exactly that message. That's a response of this user content. Great. Uh, and of course, you can continue with the message. That's the history and then so on and so forth. Uh, so after that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's the same API structure as OpenAI. Great. Now let's check out a couple of other things. Uh, so we have chat completion. Uh, obviously, you know, you can play around with this, different models, things like that. Um, I believe you can do image understanding. I think that's probably the most powerful one because we know a little bit about uh, Yen Lokun's background. He's all about image. Uh, let's go to documentation, see what other fancy things we can do. As uh, so image understanding, great. Uh, I believe you need to process your image as a base 64. Uh, here they have the image URL. So definitely we can certainly try that out. Uh, let's use OpenAI client and let's see how we pass that in. So we call this model directly and then the message is a list of dictionary, whereas here the user is passing in two pictures, okay? Um, so let's see how this goes. We don't need the whole thing. Um, let's grab this client, right? And then let's go down here. Let's put it here. Uh, we just need to change the message history. So what I mean by that is uh, we just need to grab this. And we'll be able to replace that here. 
because that's all we need to replace. And obviously clean this up because we only need one comma. And that's all the message history that we need. Uh, we pass this in. What do you see uh, in these two images that have in common? I have one picture, two picture. Uh, this should be live JPEG file. Uh, so let's verify this by copy the URL, go into a web browser. Boom, there you go. That's a picture. Great. Uh, let's verify this one. Great. Okay. So let's run it. Let's see what's in the response. So it should be able to read these two images and it should be able to give us the responses. And voila, this is great. Uh, let's dive into the actual response. Response, I'm gonna do choices. I believe I did bracket zero. Uh, so that gives us more content. And then I need to dive into message. Uh, message is gonna give us check completion message, which we need to grab content. So content. Uh, there you go. That's uh, all of the messages. So uh, this way also works. You can read the picture and tell us what's going on. Uh, let's see if we have structure output. That's another thing that's pretty important. Uh, I believe uh, it does. Uh, so this is great, right? Because uh, here it actually uh, look at uh, JSON. It looks at JSON. Uh, it actually makes a post API call and uh, it constraints the response to be uh, this kind of schema, uh, which actually is very interesting. I don't think any other API is currently providing that. Uh, this way, you're going to physically type it out. Uh, this can uh, pretty much be input variable. You can define the upstream in your code, in your metadata, whatever you need. Uh, it's also a Pydentic schema, which I find uh, very interesting. So you can use Pydentic base model uh, to define a schema. So I'm going to try out with this one. Uh, this one, I need to use Llama API. So let's grab that and let's come back down here. Let's use Llama API. Uh, so this obviously we need to uh, install. So Llama API, uh, let's see if it's pip installable. Uh, actually, this is the link. Great, let's copy that and let's put it here. Uh, so this gives us the API call. And then let's see what we can do here. I believe this needs to pass in the API key, which we fortunately defined here. Uh, let's enter that in API key as input variable. Great. Let's run it. Let's see if it works. No module name llama API. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the docs. Let's see how to install it. SDK. Uh, let's see if there's installation. I believe this is the one, the PY Llama API Python. I believe that is the one that we need. Ah, this is the one we need. Okay, so that's a, a wrong package that I just installed. Uh, let's install that. Now, this is why you use Colab, right? Because uh, package version controlling wise is a, a little bit easy to change or update. Uh, so let's run this code again. Let's see if it works. No module name, Llama API. Uh, let's see if this works. It's a new version. Uh, let's try out on that one. I should be able to give us Llama API client, which is kind of what we want. Um, but this is not Llama API. It's actually, uh, let's follow the documentation. I should be Llama API client, uh, of which here is Llama API client. So let's grab this and let's see if this is going to help us get past this error. So it's not going to be Llama API, it's going to be Llama API client. And then this is going to be API key. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and then let's clean this code up just a little bit. So we have class object, we have Llama API client, and then let's run it. Great, awesome, it worked. Uh, so this gives you a structure output following the schema that we provided here. Schema here is controlled by Pydentic base model, awesome. So everything seems to be working, great. This provides a structure and formality, uh, and hopefully this works. Thank you for watching, hope you like this episode. Give a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.